Norman David Hardy was born in 1924 and died on 31 October 2017. He was a New Zealand climber who was involved in the first ascent of 8,586 metre, 28,169 feet, Kang Chenjunga, the third highest mountain in the world. Hardy was born in Tamayu in 1924. He left school early and, encouraged by his father, spent two seasons hunting deer in the Boyle and Hanui River valleys. Encouraged by a local Tamayu engineer, in 1943 Hardy enrolled at Canterbury University College for a degree in civil engineering. He continued hunting to finance his studies, but became increasingly involved in tramping, the New Zealand term for hiking, and mountaineering. He graduated from Canterbury in 1947 and worked at Lake Pukaki on the hydroelectricity scheme. He first met Edmund Hillary during a rescue mission for an injured climber on Laparaus in 1948 described as the most arduous rescue in New Zealand's climbing history. After briefly working in Wellington, Hardy left for England in late 1950. He married Enid Hurst in 1951. He spent five years in London working in structural engineering and water works. In London, he lived with other climbers from New Zealand. After Edmund Hillary's successful first ascent of Mount Everest, the New Zealand Alpine Club organised an expedition into the Barren Valley in Nepal in 1954. Hardy's role was to survey and map the routes up to Maitlu, the fifth highest mountain in the world. He became close friends with Charles Evans during the expedition. When Evans received a telegram during the expedition inviting him to lead an attempt to climb Kang Chenjunga in the next season, he asked Hardy to join him. Kang Chenjunga, the third highest mountain, was then the highest unclimbed peak. A team of nine climbers, eight from the United Kingdom and Hardy from New Zealand, set off on the reconnaissance mission. Hardy based on his engineering background, was put in charge of developing a better oxygen system than had been available to the 1953 British Mount Everest expedition. Hardy was appointed deputy leader by Evans and put in charge of training two team members, John Angelo Jackson and Joe Brown, in the use of crampons. After two months on the mountain and setting up camps at various heights, Helped by 300 porters and 40 Sherpa, it became clear that they had the chance of turning their reconnaissance mission into an attempt to climb the mountain. George Band and Joe Brown reached the summit from their top camp at 8,200 meters, 26,900 feet, on 25 May 1955, with Hardy and Tony Streather repeating the achievement on the following day. Technically much harder than Mount Everest. Kang Chenjunga was not climbed again for 22 years. After the successful climb, Hardy travelled with three Sherpa for several months in their home region. Joined by his wife and a friend from New Zealand, Joe MacDonald, he mapped the last uncharted areas of the Himalayas south of Mount Everest. Hardy published a book in 1957 based on his diaries, in Highest Nepal. An official translation is available in German and a plagiarized version exists in Japanese. For 22 years, Hardy was on the board of Edmund Hillary's Himalayan Trust. He visited the Himalayas on 14 trips. He has also been to Antarctica on three occasions, including as leader of Scott Bayes. In the 1992 New Year Honours, Hardy was appointed a companion of the Queen's Service Order for Community Service. He published his autobiography, On My Own Two Feet, in 2006.